Welcome to Good Mythical More. We got a lot to unpack. We need to second guess our career choice, and we're also going to help you with your second guessing yeah. or your first guessing of the spiciest questions that you've asked on Reddit. We're gonna answer those. But here we are. First, we're going to tell a 10 word story. Uh, chickens. Break. Time. When. Farmers. Conjure. Demonic. <clears throat> Dirt. Sifting. Nomads. <laughs> Chickens break time when farmers conjure demonic dirt sifting nomads. <laughs> yes, oh, they crap, do. Man. Uh, that's quite yeah, a story. this is what it feels yeah! like to be un geniuses. Masked. Yeah, we're trying to compensate for the fact that we feel like utter failures. Um, we did well, not. Well, it started off like surprisingly. Like the one point that Rhett had was the first round. So when I said Jack in the Box, yeah. So it was. I've never like, even had that sandwich. This is going to be interesting. And then th after that point, every single thing that both of you guessed was incorrect. Okay, so we've asked for the Popeyes, which came in second, but tied with KFC? Yeah. I'm glad that KFC did a lot better than I thought. Because, um, you know, chicken is, chicken chicken is, is their chicken. thing, too, like Popeyes. But these other places, they're just bandwagoning. The spicy chicken sandwiches, I think they're here to stay. Well, so, okay, so round two, you were both, like, Popeyes, you were Burger confident King. in your Popeyes, answer, and you Burger said the King. same thing. You both said McDonald's, and what was that? But it was Wendy's, and then the one that you tasted that was McDonald's, you were like, it has like kind of a chemically thing, or like you know, it tastes a little bit weird. That yeah. was McDonald's, and you guessed Wendy's and KFC. There's a very big difference between, like, the Popeyes chicken looks like it would be better. In terms of like the, the amount of crispy on it. Do that so that both of ours are on the same side just so I don't get confused. Now I'm confused. <laughs> the ones that you ranked, there's two that tied for the lowest ranking, McDonald's and Jack in the Box. And then Wendy's was next, and then KFC Popeyes, and then Burger King at the top. Hmm. I had this chicken thing months ago, and I thought, Burger King, wow. Um, it's just that they missed the initial wave. I'm not saying w we we did. I mean, we're just doing this episode now, but I think they did. So what do we give Popeyes? Uh, for Popeyes, Rhett, uh, you both gave it a seven, and both gave it a seven for KFC. Man, I think I'm still agreeing with myself. Now, now that I'm eating more, I want to completely tie these two. <clears throat> and it looks like across the board, you pretty much agreed on everything. The only thing that there's a major discrepancy is the McDonald's where, Rat you said six, and Link, you said three, mm. which is the lowest score you gave across the board. Well, I'm having fun, you know. Give us a spicy Reddit question. Maybe we can redeem okay. ourselves with good answers. Ask Reddit, beginning with a very spicy, what did you learn at an embarrassingly late age? So much. <laughs> so much. I've learned so many terms on this show. You don't even, you don't even wanna know. Embarrassingly late age. <clears throat> Probably like an expression. Um, um, uh, oh, what, what is that expression that you say when something is, um, Dutch oven? Yeah, learn what a Dutch oven was. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> I'm sure I learned what a Dutch oven was here, and I now I can't remember. Oh, really? It's like a sexual fart. Oh, I didn't know there was a sexual part of it. Oh, there's not a sexual part? 
Yeah, it can be so. for some people. I think there's a fart like under the you, covers. Yeah. Oh well, that's not that bad. What's the other thing that sounds like Dutch oven? That's like the sexual Dutch oven. I learned that here years ago. <clears throat> Hold on, I, I'm thinking of something that I did learn. That was like, oh, I'm not going to tell anybody that I didn't already know that. But I can't think of it right now. We um, both learned that most people call it biopic and not biopic. Yeah. We call it biopic. We call it bi biopic until like 14 months ago. That's like very a defensible. Movie? You yeah. called it a biopic? Bi yeah, because it, it sounds better. A biopic. It sounds like science. Mm -hmm. We always called it a biopic, not a biopic. Like uh, you, it, like in Bowie's Creek, other people said that to you, or you nobody just, said it in Bowie's Creek in California for like at least five years. We like learned but no the word. No one said it to you. You just said it to each other. Yeah, we just said it to each other. I think that's I why probably I said it to some strangers. There were many years where we only spoke to each other and strangers who never spoke back. Now that I'm just tasting the chicken, and by the way, almost finishing all of the chicken, the Popeyes chicken isolated is better than the Burger King chicken. You're right. I hate to say it, my mouth was a little confused. And I knew that, and that's why I was like, I was so confident that it was Popeyes that I went for the Niner. Hmm. Interesting. You can't, Next question. You can't time travel, but your phone has the internet from five years in the future. What do you search for first? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. <clears throat> I'm gonna Google my name. That's I mean, smart. I mean, what happens? What happens to me? I'd probably Google. Do I become a the link. tallest jockey ever? So you're going to Google Rhett McLaughlin tallest jockey ever? Question mark. You got to be specific. I don't want to lead it. You got to lead it. I'm going to Google Link Neal canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know how it happens. I mean. Yeah, that's I've had smart. multiple people tell me that's probably smart in hushed whispers that they know it will happen, and then you can avoid whatever it is. It's kind of like my my middle school uh, PE teacher saying, "When you get to high school, they're gonna stuff you in a locker." It's like, yeah, if you when if you keep this up, you're gonna get canceled. It's kind of the same thing. Okay, I'm proving them wrong. But if I couldn't Google myself, I'd probably Google. Me. Because um, probably by Googling me or me Googling you, we'll also find out what happened to the other guy. Maybe I would Google, um, I don't know, my children. Link Neal, canceled You'd entertainer. Google children? Friend of my children. Current tallest, tallest jockey in the world. I might Google Rebel like. Laughlin. You could get a lot of information. Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition, latest cover. <laughs> it's like when we were kids, man, we were so freaking obsessed with that. Like your brother Cole would get this, he got S S Sports Illustrated, and then when that swimsuit issue came, whoopsie daisy, yep. we were into that one. It, it came all right. I'd like, I'd like to know what would happen, what, what five years in the future looks like, because it'll tell you a lot. Won't it? Maybe not. What's the bathing suit's going to look like in five years? What are they going to do different? Can't wait to find out that one year they did body paint. That body paint year was a that was a rough year for me. Okay. Next question. <laughs> <She was> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you die, and the first thing you see in the afterlife are three buttons: next level, spectate, and restart. Which one do you press, and why? Next level, without hesitation. Hmm. I want to know what's next, man. Like, I mean, restart would be cool and everything, but no, restart. <clears throat> I, I mean, we're very fortunate. Our lives are we're living the freaking dream. I mean, look, I just ate a chicken off of some buns and left the buns. Like, I've got so much <laughs> love in my life with my family, with my you know, we got we got people who watch our stuff. Yeah. Who love and support us. Until you get canceled. We've got amazing people that we work with who stare at us silently while we just gush about chicken sandwiches. 
I mean, it don't get any better than this. I don't want to risk doing it over because the whole time I'll just be comparing it to this. You're right. Man, I'm not sitting in a chair blindfolded just being fed the best <laughs> spicy chicken sandwiches on the planet. It, it doesn't get any better than this, bro. I agree with that. So um, do not. I'm not hitting Do restart. not sleep. The other option is on your spectate. gratitude. Yeah. That'd be a problem for me. Spectate. Just watch it? I'm just going to watch. What am I, a ghost? I'm just going to be in the corner. Or I'm just, I'm, I'm just well, a, I, I come back as a camera? Well, I think you can spectate. You can <laughs> yeah, you come go out watch whoever you want. Okay, hold on now. So you come back invisible? Yeah, I think you come back as an invisible ghost. <clears throat> I still think next level, it's like, it, it would just answer a lot of questions that I've got. You know? That, I mean, that's why, I like, when people argue about the existence of God, like, if God just spectates, I mean, it's like, we're sitting here saying we don't want to spectate. You think God wants to spectate? No, God is like controlling stuff, man. If God exists, God is controlling stuff because- t Tinkering? Tinkering, because otherwise, it's just, it's gotta be boring, right? I mean, I, maybe I'm thinking too simplistically here. <clears throat> But like, you know, I don't want to, I don't mean to get existential, but you know, spicy chicken sandwich, just do that to a guy. No, that is the next question. What does God do is, is that's the next question. Does he spectate? I don't well, think I would spectate for, for God reasons. I think that potentially uh, God died in childbirth at the birth of the universe and God is all of us and we are trying to get back together. To and form is, like a Voltron is, God? That is God reuniting itself and that okay. is the quest of the universe. That actually kind of leads into the next question. You've That's been, actually my theory. You've been in LA County too long, man. No, no, I'm serious. I think that God dialed, died in the act of giving birth to the universe. And died is a loose way of describing separated itself into everything that exists. And our mission is to bring about union. If you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on Earth could hear at once, what would it be? God died in childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> so he sent a telepathic message to every living human? Yeah. Um, YouTube.com slash Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Click that bell. Thanks for subscribing. Um, a telepathic. I think it would be. I mean, talk about jump, God. Jump on the count of three, just to see if we'd all feel it. Well, I think subject to the to the distribution of humanity, it would. I think it would just it would make Earth a little smaller. Yeah, right. And that'd be cool. But there's a distribution such that like it might make it smaller, but oblong and send it in a direction. And any direction is not going to be good. Because it's it's uh, this is a precarious place, but I mean, getting back to the God of it all. Yeah, just do you that. You think about. Way. I mean, if you're if you can speak to everybody subconsciously, everybody like so many people would think that God spoke to them. So you got to be. And you'd be like, no, 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 it's careful. just me. It's it, this thing on Reddit. <laughs> I'm just a dude. I just got this power through this Reddit question. So I wouldn't. I was just a normal person. I I think I would pretend to be God, but I would do it altruistically. I think I would. How long can I talk? Like how long can I push the button? I think I ten no, seconds. The talky button. Ten seconds. Like, yeah. T I mean, is it just? Did they say? No, I mean it says could hear at once. So I think it's a fairly finite amount of time. I mean, but I'm also, not... I googled uh, what would happen if everyone, and the first thing that auto filled was what would happen if everyone on Earth jumped at once. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, okay, re yeah. what would happen? That's all from me. Googling. Uh, was I right? Nothing. Nothing would happen because of the distribution of where everyone is. And plus, we're so inconsequential. This is so existential today, guys. We are so small. Even on the planet, if we all jumped at once, the planet would not give a crap. What if we it all? It says if we all jumped from the exact same place at once, it's impossible. We would push the Earth ever so slightly. Uh, in in one second, Earth would move about a hundredth of the radius of a single hydrogen atom. <laughs> so That'd much be pretty would cool. Move the Earth. I mean, but as mythical beasts <laughs> distributed around the globe, 
What if we did a all jump at once? What if we all did the electric slide at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with a jump. Hear me out. Just because. Because. Because that's a, what that's everyone a, hears at the same time is slide to the left. What are we gonna? Slide what to are, the right. The next year, I think that it's Earth would spin up when we all slid in the same direction. Please it's better me. than jumping. Listen, hear me out. Mm -hmm. Next year, okay. after this, yeah, we can electric slide, but let's just start with a jump. And I think it's a good exercise to prove to us that like we we simultaneously don't matter and infinitely matter. Oh wow! And I think that's what I would say. Maybe I would just say the second part. You would just say, you don't matter. <laughs> if you, if you could, yeah. no, if you I could think, speak to everyone at once. I think I would say, I think I would, actually I think don't I would say, matter. I think I would say, I love you. Oh, that's sweet. No, because it's like, who's that? Yeah, right. Be like, you are loved. Uh. Unless you're like a really, really horrible person. But then everyone would just argue about who it was that said that, and then they'd end up killing each other anyway. And we're humans, that's what we do. Yeah. If all surgeons <laughs> disappeared, including vets, <clears throat> what profession would you turn to for surgery? Um, all surgeons, so like uh, an oral surgeon yes, is right. out too. Yes, any profession with the word surgeon, including- Seamstresses. Oh, really? It's like, hey, can you, they can sew you up, but I don't Butchers. think- Butchers. Butchers know anatomy. They're, they got a fidelity to it. Well, there's not much fidelity. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. Tattoo artists. Just tattoo artists have very steady hands. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but they don't know crap about anatomy, do they? Well, they could learn. They know about the outside. Oh, okay, yeah, if you factor in these people learning. Hmm. No, they got to do surgery. Like, you've got, uh, you need an appendectomy, like, or now, and uh, it's just somebody that's got to do it. No, I, I, I think the answer has to be coroner. Ooh, that's good. Because they on, cut guys. into bodies. Come on, guys. But they don't really worry about sewing them up. That's the easy part. You can, you can still bring in the seamstress. Maybe a mortician, because at least you'd look good. <laughs> We're all going to die. We might as well, uh, you know... Uh, what do they do? A mortician can sew your butthole up, so they could probably sew, sew a wound up. And that's what I would say to the 7.8 <laughs> billion people in the world. A mortician can sew your butthole up. What are the options when something is violently sweet, violently sour, and violently spicy? No, it's also incredibly salty, Nicole. <laughs> Let's try a little bit more frost. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more Gatorade in there. I think it's good now. 